Every summer, CSU teaches an archaeological field school, which is a seven-week field program, and we spend every day outside. Yeah, I think that Red Mountain Open Space is, is located about 45 minutes north of town, and it's a really neat place to go observe wildlife, elk and, and deer, as well as birds and all the neat plants that are up there. But the reason we go up there is it has a wonderful human legacy as well, going back to 12,000 years ago. And so over the last six years, CSU archaeologists have been exploring Red Mountain not only looking for archaeological sites, surveying for them and recording them, but then in a select number of those sites, going back and excavating them and obtaining new information about the peoples of the past. And so it's a wonderful place to really view humans uh, in their environment uh, over the last 12,000 years. For me, research and teaching go hand in hand. I mean, one feeds the other. And so uh, as much as I can in the classroom, I try to bring on hands-on experiences. And so, Having students participate in that uh, is, is a vital part of my kind of research theme. What separates uh, anthropology students from other kinds of disciplines is, is that they really are curious folks. Uh, they like to get dirt under their fingernails and they really want hands-on experiential learning. And that's what the field school provides. I mean, you really get to put a lot of concepts you might learn in the classroom into practice outdoors. Uh, and there's no better way of learning than, than truly struggling with you know, how you do this as a professional. And you might not become a professional archaeologist after a field school, but you certainly get an understanding of, of how people go about answering questions. And, and I think that's a vital skill that liberal arts uh, training provides students. And it, it will be very applicable beyond just archaeology, but to, to broader things that you might pursue in life. <laughs>